Welcome to CEO View. You're now locked in, Mr. APM, and I run FX Algos. And I, I did that for a few months. I think that's when I made my first 10K in e commerce. Let's put it like this if the payment came out here yeah, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I wouldn't see it. Your, your name is like is a credit score. Obviously, before I came on the podcast, obviously, you asked around your guys, well, what did your guys say your APM is? Just know it makes a lot of money. The service is there, so why not offer it type of thing? My business is not contingent on you, bro. I don't care. Can you tell us how many streams of income you have? Do you, do you know what? I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. When you do such stuff, there's a repercussion, isn't it? And these guys were actually on the end of it. And these are my close guys. And there's statistics, right, in a sense where if you're with five guys that are banging and doing X, Y, Z, you're going to be probably the sixth one. Majority of friends I lost was when I, was, when I left. When I left the ends, in it? When I left um, for uni. So from, from then, so let's say 2018 upwards, my friendship has been the same. I've got like, what, four, four friends. Let's start off like this, APM. APM. Obviously, we haven't met much. Yeah. But mm. I've heard some interesting, interesting things about yeah. your childhood. Mm. So let's say secondary school and onwards. Yeah. Do you know what I'm referring to? Um, no, nah, not even chatting. So I heard that you were misbehaving in school. Oh, yeah. You weren't the very best behave. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about that. Oh, uh, yeah, you know... Um, obviously, I'm from London. I grew up in South London. That's where I lived. And, you know, I'll just say, you know, you're just a product of your environment in the sense where, you know, you only do and you only do and you do what you see or what you know type thing, innit? So, obviously, what was happening in South London is what I saw, is what I did, in it. So, it's really that, innit? And that didn't really get me far, hence why I had to switch it up and, you know. So, yeah, nah. Growing up, growing up was calm and I just, I just didn't behave myself as much as I should have, innit? But, yeah, I mean, it all turned out well, innit? So... Yeah, yeah, growing up was calm, slow. Yeah. Yeah. So just based on saying, you said you was doing what UMC. Yeah. How was that affecting your family at home, your parents at home? No. Like their child was misbehaving. Yeah, no, obviously it's never a great thing for the parents, you know, to have a naughty child. Then, but at the end of the day, it's a thing where, you know, that children will be children, will be children in a sense, so you're going to grow up one day in it. And it's a thing where people learn differently, you know, that's, like, for me personally, like, if you told me not to do something, I, I, I would do it in it until it's a thing where, I know, like, raw, what I did, yeah, I shouldn't do it. Innit? So, you telling me don't do something for this reason, I'll air it, right? Until I rather find out why I shouldn't do it, type of thing, innit? So, yeah, obviously, man, man did what I did, and yeah, man, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So, someone told us, well, apparently, it was on a podcast yeah. as well. Yeah. I didn't get to that bit. Yeah. But uh. I was told that you almost got sent back. Oh, to yeah. Ghana. Yeah, mine almost got a ship still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, yeah. t- tell us how close that was. Like, oh, was no, he, was no. he scared? Or? Oh, very nice. So this was like when I was, um, I was yeah, yeah, nine, year ten. So basically, that like, you know, it was just a build of just bare, bare stuff you've done in school. And so obviously, they just kept on calling my dad, didn't it? And my dad, you know, my dad is, a, is an African man, and he don't like those stuff in it. So it says corner, corner. So cool. One day, he came pick up from school. Yeah, I came to my yard. Right, my clothes and my suitcase was just in our front room. He was there, yo, pack, what? pack. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, he was like, yo, pack your stuff, stuff like that. So cool. Man, I was just doing that. Man, I was just all crying and that. And he's saying, oh, yeah, nah, the, the, the aunties in the village, they're waiting for you, like, they're, they're ready for you still. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, nah, and I was booking your flight right now. And obviously, at the time, I was young, innit? So he was on the phone, you know, just saying, oh, yeah, can I book this ticket? Da, 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 da. It was chatting, innit? But at the time, I was just shook, innit? So, yeah, nah, I thought yeah, I was done for. And from then, I just really switched it up still. So, yeah. <laughs> so, what point was it you thought, you know what, I'm going to switch up. I'm going to turn my life differently. Do you know what? It was, it was like college times, innit? When, you know, like, Guys, yeah, guys was doing what I was doing in it, and obviously, when you do such stuff, and there's a repercussion in it, and these guys were actually on the end of it, and these are my close guys, and it is, is you know, it's, it's statistics, right? In a sense, where if you're with five guys that are banging and doing X, Y, Z, you're gonna be probably the sixth one, and I didn't want to end up like that in it, so I was like, yeah, nah, it is what it is, isn't it? I need to switch it up and it change my friendship group, and you know, over this. So when I did that, I banged school, I got good grades in it, I went to uni, and yeah, I just all that past life, I left it as it was, though, so. So you went to uni, but did you finish? Yeah, of course. So I graduated, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. two one act. Yeah. Are you are, are you currently using your degree? What did you study? I studied business management at the University of Nottingham, and obviously, um, nah. I mean, the degree is cool in it, but I'm I'm not I'm not using it per se. In it, obviously, I built up skills within uni, such as you know networking, you know, interpersonal skills, like you know, and all those stuff in it. So obviously. The social side of university is what helped me to get to where I am today. And about the academic stuff, in terms of the the degree itself, yeah, I, yeah, nah, 
no, no. But obviously everyone's different, isn't it? It's just my line of work. I don't, I don't really need it. Innit? I just, you know, worked on what I know and yeah. So um, what is it about you, what you do now that makes yourself? So I just run FX algos, innit? That's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, there's always a gap in the market. You know, everyone wants to be labeled as that trader. I don't want to make money through trading or whatever the case may be. But the the fact of my is trading is hard, innit? At the end of the day, innit? Like, not everyone can make money from trading. Like, ninety percent of people lose money during trading, innit? Even probably higher now. So, the thing where is a is a desirable thing to be in, innit? But actually being inside it is is very hard. And obviously making money from it as well is even harder. So, obviously I found a gap in the market where you know people could actually come in and start making money passively. It might not be, a, it's not gonna be life changing, but it won't be a lot, but at the end there, every little helps type thing, and let's say every, I don't know, every week you make a hundred pound extra type thing, and it's literally that. So yeah, having the flexibility of, you know, having some passive income without you actually knowing much about the FX market. So yeah, that's, that's the service I provide at the minute. Okay. So how did you go about, how did you identify that gap in the market? Did you always have an interest in trading yourself? Do you know what I was? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I, I did still. So, episode like 16 ish, that's how I started trading it, like on, on demo accounts, innit? So, I started doing my thing in it. And obviously, making money on demo is all fun and games, is whatever, innit? But it's not real money. So, you're done now. I was like, yeah, cool. When I turn 18, whatever, I'm gonna really try and set up. So, I, I did it. I joined a few courses, like, you know, yeah. back back in the day, a few of the Birmingham guys had some courses in it, like, so I joined their courses. I did their stuff in it. And, it, the courses wasn't great in there. I lost lots of money in there, but at the end, you know, the thing where like, raw, these guys are pushing out a service where they could actually make money. Why? Why can't I do that as all type of thing? So obviously, I wanted to you know be proficient in what I didn't. So I learned it for a few more, few more years, and I became a bit profitable. Then I was like, yeah, cool, whatever. But trading itself here is is mentally fatiguing, isn't it? Like, it takes quite a lot to, to trade FX yourself. So it was the thing where I was like, no, nah, let me. How can I take the stress out of it and still have, you know, not as big profits, but still nevertheless got some passive income? And I was like, yeah, FX Algos. And obviously, I actually joined one company that actually provided that in it, but it was whack. It wasn't great at all. So from then, I just did my own spin-off where I was like, yeah, cool. This is what this is what works, isn't it? This is what sells. So why don't you find something that works better? Why don't you push out to your audience type thing, in it? And that's that's how, you know, we really got to that stage. So So could you explain what um Algo is okay. So FX algos is algo is short for algorithm. Okay. So FX is forex, forex algorithm, right? So it's essentially an automated trading system, right? Where it trades for you. So instead of you doing your manual input of I don't know, doing your technical analysis or whatever it is, mm -hmm. an algo does it for you. It does all that stuff and it places trades for you. So it places trades, opens it for you. So instead of you, you know, having your own, own human intervention, making trades and all that stuff there, the algo does it for you and it closes the profit for you. So yeah. That's 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 pretty much it. It's basically is a robot trader type of thing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I just want to talk about the name Mr. APM. Yeah. What yeah. does that mean? How did you get that name, Mr. APM? So no, it's a good question. So um, so APM is just a contrast of my first name, my last name, management. That's it. So my name is Aubrey Purple. So Mr. As I'm a man in it, Smith. AP Aubrey Purple M Management. So yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> 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 pretty, pretty, pretty nice and easy in it. So. Yeah, yeah, it's just just nice, you know, rolls off the tongue type. So I'm say APM, yeah. So at what age did your parents finally like take you serious again? Like they realized that you're taking life serious and not messing around. No, obviously. So when I bang my grades in school, I got like, three A's in it. At A level, I got three A's and A level in it. So from then, that's other than it, like from getting meaty grades in it to like, three A's in it, your, your, your satin has changed and the satin has clicked in it. So cool, I've done that. So obviously, and even so that, yeah. I wasn't like I was. I've always been academically smart in it. Like I'm not. I'm not a dumb guy in it. Like let's get me. It was just a thing where I just made wrong wrong choices in it, and it's whatever and everyone does in it. So, so cool. Um, I banged grades and the uni. I was supposed to go to um a uni in one of the Midlands, in it. Like I, I didn't take uni seriously. I was just like, yo, like, this was like what 20, 2018. I was like, yeah, and I'm outside in it. Like yo, like <laughs> Midlands uni, yo, you're seeing me there. Like you see when people say they go to uni, not university. That was that type of guy in it. But <laughs> obviously, like my my grades, my grades came true now. I had three years in it. My mom's like, yeah, nah, rah. You might as well try to hit one of the top unis in it type of thing. Cause why not? Like you got a good grades in it, so cool. So um, I hit up some. I wanted to go LSE in it, but they had no space in my course. And I hit up Birmingham, had no spaces. And I hit up Nottingham, University of Nottingham. They're Russell Group in it, so I hit them up. And they had one more space on my course. I just took it. 
So yeah, no, I was I was very, very grateful for that in it. So yeah, no, obviously from there the sort like right, yeah, the change of behavior was good, didn't it? Like from getting meaty grades to, you know, good grades, going to good university, patting up nicely in it. So, you know, yeah, yeah, there, there, there was the the sort the sort of change in it was very progressive in it, but you know, the change was made still, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you talk about university and you went to uni for reasons, obviously, to socialise, to build yeah. networks. Yeah, of course. Can you tell me how you saw, like, because a lot of people wouldn't see networking. Yeah. They wouldn't see, obviously, uni. Yeah, of course. Can you tell me how a lot of people, what you saw and how they actually were? Do you know, um, um, it's just, I'll say that one more time, bro. Like, yeah. could you tell me how people miss out on the opportunities at university to actually make the most out of it? Because, like I said, a lot of them see the fun side. Yeah, of course. Um, do you know what? there's there's two spectrums to it, innit, right? There's there's one where you're always outside and there's one you you're always inside, then it you never get anywhere being on the either end of the stick, right? So it was a thing where with me, I just like my friendship group like was very small and I had like what three friends in uni. Obviously you like you know when people know a lot of guys, yeah, you can know about your D yeah, my people's in it. I had three friends, cool. I had three friends, right? And the guys I had, yeah. Yeah, we was very like minded in the sense where we were entrepreneurial and we kept to ourselves and you know, like it's something where if something made sense, we'll go for it. But if it's any passer, yo, like we stay away in it, we don't really like the business with yeah. trouble in it type thing, innit? So the thing where, you know, we we made a right connection in the sense where like let's say for example, like Porky Banks, right? We met Porky Banks. Um I met Porky Banks um like when I was when I was second year, second year and he was first year, so I met him yeah. university and we clicked was like, yeah, no, nah, like we did the same thing in the sense of entrepreneurship, like he was giving out content and I liked it. And obviously him putting himself out there is what made me like see, all right, yeah, that's my man from TikTok, innit? So we went from there and yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, just 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 making you know good connection in the sense where the people around you just gotta make sure that right they that you guys are going somewhere or they benefit you in a way or shape or form, innit? So yeah, I hope that's answered your question. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I've got this burning question to ask you. Yeah, of course. I can see you make a lot of money now. Yeah, but God's grace, though. Amen. <laughs> but God's grace. So, I want to know when you were growing up. Yeah. Were you growing up in money as well? Yeah. Um. No, not, not growing up in money in it, but obviously, man always had a you know a roof over my head and you know, always had clothes on my back and always had food to eat. So it was you know I came from a, like a working working family and you know, my mom, my dad, they all worked in it. You know, they, they had four kids, so you know they worked hard to you know put. Things in perspective, innit? and obviously, like early two thousand, like yo, like it was nothing. It was it wasn't it wasn't easy, innit? You know what I mean? Obviously, so with that, man, man didn't come from money, innit? So that's that's why man works hard now in the sense where yeah, now nah, cool, you got to put people in positions where they can actually make money. Obviously, you, you know, be there for the minute because at the end of the day, your parents have sacrificed for you a lot, innit? So that's why the thing where I, I want to be very successful because you know I want to give back to the minute like everything they've done and all that stuff. So yeah, it's just you know. That's the least you can do at the end of the day, you know, they've looked after you for however long and now is your time to give back, so, yeah. So, um, overall, yeah. I was actually playing this in full, so, obviously, I seen on your Instagram, yeah. the cars, the, obviously, like, hard to guard, the yeah. clothes, you're yeah. very sharp, so, yeah, yeah. I just want to ask you something, what exactly does money mean to you? Money's a tool, bro, do you get me? <laughs> Money's a tool to what you want to do, in it. So, in a sense where, um, let's say, I just said the clothes and car, whatever, right, it's all marketing, bro, do you get me, like, obviously, the, the 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 you know the industry man's in is all about lifestyle then and, and, and if you're talking about finances you've got to look like finances do you get me that's just the reality of it like man's not gonna come chat to you about finances or come to you i don't know in in, in a you know oh eight hyundai like it's not gonna it's, you ain't gonna buy nothing from man do you get what i'm saying like if man's gonna sell you something yo you, if i come true to you i don't know i don't know in a g-wagon i told you yo, bro you got to do this got to do that type this car what you're gonna do it right yeah, do you get yeah. me but let's say man comes to you and of course, of that is just that just smoking black lad. <laughs> do you get me? If, if the exhaust is just smoking at what? <laughs> why do you mind trying to start and just hear <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the, like the, the edge of the even started at you? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't, ain't gonna work, bro. So it's just you know, at the end of the day, the nice stuff is all cool, whatever, innit? But that's yo, bro, that's 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 all vanity at the end of the day, innit? Like, you know. I, I, I wear nice stuff because you know it's marketing and it sells a service and it's, it sells uh -huh. something to you. That me coming up, pulling up to you, whatever, yeah, it's, it, it speaks to you before I even open my mouth to you type thing, innit? Mm -hmm. Do you get me? So, yeah, um, but yeah, um, so back to question money, yeah, money is a tool, you know, to you know, get what you need to get to, innit? Like, I, right now, I do a lot of um, you know, philanthropy, I give a lot, innit, bro? Charities, you know, like, like research and that, innit? Because at the end of the day, like, why not, innit? If you can, why not type thing, innit? Like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so 
we know you make a lot of money, as I said before. Can right, you tell right. us how many streams of income you have? Do you know, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know. And I've got lots of different stuff here and there. And let's say, I don't know. Like, I get given clothes for free sometimes, innit? Mm. And I just got to post pictures or whatever, innit? But I don't see it as a stream of, I don't, like, some, some mm. I get paid as often, but I don't see it as a stream. My main thing is, I just run FX Algos, innit? So I say that's my main thing, but within FX Algos, there's multiple streams, such as, let's say, you sell to standard accounts. You, you sell to um, high net accounts, you sell to funded accounts. Do you get me? There's loads of different stuff in it. Let's say, I don't know, a client that's got a 500, 500 pounds um, trading account and a client that's got a mill, there's, there's two diff- there are two different income streams in it, such as, for example, someone that has $500, $500 in their account, right? They're going to pay, I don't know, I don't know, $75 a month to use a service, right? But someone that's got 100K in their account, we do 50% split. So let's say now, the average does about, I don't know, Let's say seven percent a month for around hundred k. That's seven grand. Fifty percent split, three thousand five. Me three thousand five per minute. So, you know that's what we got. And with that the clients I got is do you get me is extensive in it. So, mm. yeah, that's that's all that stuff there. Obviously, um, I do a bit of you know um concierge service as well. I got, I got um apartments. You know, I got cars I rent now and that. So obviously, I see those like I see those like you know the little side missions in it. Is yeah. that in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it accumulates. You, you get me. Yeah. It all accumulates in it. So it's literally that in it. But yeah, my main income just FX algos in it. And obviously, the service, I use the service myself. I've got my own portfolio. That's to get me like, oh, that. That's making you money of as course. well. That's what I'm saying. Like if the service I give out right now, yeah. Yo, I don't need clients. I don't need. I don't need. You get me? Like I don't need yeah, people yeah, to come yeah. in. There's a thing where the service is there, so why not offer it? Type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because irrespective, if a client comes or a client don't come, I'm just making piece of my own service, anyways. Yeah. You so understand that? Like, I get you. Like, so you're my, one of those guys that make money from the service that you actually bro, provide. Bro, my, my business is not contingent on you, bro. I don't care. Obviously, like as mad as it is, and obviously whatever, in it, but I don't. Uh, yo, I don't care. In it, if you use my service or not, I don't care to you. <laughs> like, man, I'm still making my own piece, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's that in it. Like the service that I push out is more time is out there to, you know, solve a problem or solve a need for the actual client. Like, yo, the cost of living crisis is going up. Do you get me? Like, it's crazy, yeah. innit? Everyone needs a, like, what? If, if I told you I give us an extra four bills a month for you, you ain't gonna take that. You see what I'm saying? So it's the thing where the service, obviously, I'm gonna benefit from it from whatever um, whatever I make, whatever fan in it. But then there, you as a client, you're gonna make your own money as well. You see it? So. Obviously, the biggest misconception with these stuff is that people think, oh, rah, you provided a service, you need this money. No, I don't need your money, bro. You get me? This service is out there for you to make money for yourself type thing. Do you get it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, has anyone ever tried to treat you differently since they know you're making money? Um, do you know, obviously, naturally, it happens, isn't it? But I, I don't, I, like, I, I don't put no weight on that. I don't, I don't care on it. Like, if, if, if if you if I like I'm good at judgment of character in a sense where yo if I see you just trying to suck it up like yo allow it bro man don't like just act normal in it be cool in it be easy like I, I like guys are authentic and I don't even say oh because I'm APM you wanna do this one do that but when the next man is there you're brushing them away it don't make sense mm. do you get me so as long as if the way you're treating me is the way you're gonna treat the next man cool we'll rock it in it but don't just come in do you get me I don't I don't really like that stuff so you know because obviously at the end there if I didn't have no money if I didn't have nothing you treat me the same as you treat my man. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? So, and man, don't never, never in that position where, cause I ain't got this, I ain't got that, I'm being treated less of a person. Do you get me? That makes no sense at all. Do you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got a question. Have you ever thought about what your life would be if you never decided to turn it around? Um, where you would be exactly right now? I don't want to think about that still. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> do, do, you, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Is yeah, nah. Like you ever heard that from any of them guys who you was hanging around uh, before? No, nah, I ain't heard. I just see that laughing, and I just, I just, yo, like, I just thank God I just left it as it was in it. Uh, obviously, like yo, money's not that, not everything. And I, it's whatever in it, but you know, like guys still doing the same stuff they was doing like five years ago. It was mad. Talk uh, to me. Talk to me. What they're doing, man? To get me. Obviously, I ain't gonna talk too much on it, bro. You know, it gets in it, but you know, like <laughs> guys, you get me, yeah, bro. Yeah. Do that. Guys doing the same thing five years ago. That's insanity, bro. That. Like, Obviously, bro, you humans are supposed to develop, bro. I know you guys ain't done the same thing you doing five years ago, bro. That's oh, what a fact. Yeah, that's uh, fact. Do you get me, bro? So even f- forget even the standpoint of the guys in the ends and just in general, bro. Like, what, bro? Even what, bro? Me, dude, me to a certain, yeah. What I'm doing now, I was doing this like a two years ago, bro. Do you get me? Like, you have to develop as a person, bro. Do you get me? You have to, you know, the ones there. You just always got to develop, find new stuff. That's 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 even that's life and business, bro. Sometimes something don't work in business, you got to adapt to find something new that works, bro. Do you, do you get what I'm saying, there? Yeah. 
Facts, bro. Facts. <laughs> I mean, that was what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we say yeah. you like that one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to clip that one? Come on, bro, Like, so once you started making money, did yeah. you get like more family reach out to you? Nah, bro, my, my family is very like like close though. Like, I ain't got lots of external family in this country. It's just like my my mom, oh, my okay. sister, and all that yeah. stuff in it. But obviously, like love gets shown all the time. Yeah, no, mm, yeah, yeah, no, without a doubt in it. Because obviously, yeah, as I said, like my money that I make here, it's not for me, it's for my family. Like, we, we, like as a family, you're a unit at the end of the day. Do you get me? Like you're only as strong as the weakest link in your in your group. That's the fact of the matter. So let's just say now, yeah, um, I don't know for some reason someone will sell you out for money, bro. You are in trouble for that. Cause let's say if. If there's someone that said, yo, what's what's AP's address now? So I'll give you five five grand that you're gonna give me a, bro, I'm dead fam. Do you get me? Like I'm only as strong as the weakest link in my group. You see it, so that that's why my family I just look like obviously not even on that angle, but I just I show I always show love in it because we we're, we're there for everyone in there. We're always there, you know, we're one unit, whatever someone needs, someone can provide in the, you know, even like money or whatever. Let's say even let's say sometimes I'm just hungry, my sister just bring me food in it. So it's like that. We all help each other in a way. Where we all help in it, not 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 monetary values in it. It's just yo, your family, your one union, and that like, we stay together. If someone needs something, cool. If you like, for example, I don't. Know, if my dad wants to fly somewhere, yeah, yo, hold up, buy your ticket. Type like, it's, it's, mm. it's it's not it's not a thing where oh yeah nah, you do this for me, you do that for me. It's all loving. It's a it's a family thing in it. So yeah, but uh, even even putting this to friends and like yeah nah bro. A few friends try try to tell man yeah or AP this that yeah nah like even for example. Like a few years ago, when, when I started, you know, get my feet in the game, right? Mm -hmm. And I start making a bit of money or whatever. Like, I'll go out with like, some, like, some friends in it, yeah, after. We'll, we'll, go, we'll all go out to eat, like, no money, yeah, after. We're like, all oh, right, nah. AP, you know, you got this. But what do you mean, AP got this? Like, what, did you not eat as well? Like, like did, did, did you not order your 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 steak and your your, your cocktail? What do you mean, <laughs> AP's got this act? Like, was you not the one that was just there? Like, you get me snapping the thing, bro? Hey. Like, come on, man, see. Yeah, those stuff there is like, it's like you're, you're taking advantage in it. And you see me, hey, bro, I'm, I'm a cool guy, whatever. And like, I show love in it, but don't take advantage of me, bro. Like, you can't do that still. Don't, just because man's did this or this, that, like, bro. As Molly May said, bro, the 24 hours in a day, act, like, just get me so. Why is it that my 24 hours that I've used and I've used the wisely to make XYZ, I should not come and spend it and, and just, do you get me, just because I've got it, like, do you get me? It don't make no sense, man. Yeah, I don't want anything where you know, people are relying and depend on them. You don't make sense. Do you get me like, like, yeah, I don't like that stuff. Alright. Alright, so I was gonna say, do you feel like on this entrepreneur journey, I know when saying a lot of people do entrepreneurship, yeah. They get to the next level, but as they each level they get, they lose a lot of friends. Yeah. Can you tell me like how it's been for you as you've gone through the ranks and building yourself as the person you are today? Do you know what, to be honest, right? Um the, the the majority of friends I lost was when I was when I left when I left the ends in it, when I left um for uni. So with that. It was that in there, but from, from then, so let's say 2018 upwards, my friendship group has been the same. I've got like, what, four, four friends. You were there. Say that again? You were there. there. No, they, they know who they are, innit? But I, I got four friends, oh, innit? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. They know who they are, innit? Like, trust me, shout out to man, them store, shout out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They know who they are, innit? Like, man, got four friends, innit? Like, everyone will tell you, innit? Everyone knows they'll tell you, yeah, these are AP's friends. Like, you know, see, I'm cool with everyone. I, I said, I'm always show love, innit? Like, get me, let's go, because man's not. Your cold man, your bridging, don't mean I was sure loving it, like, to get me so. In terms of my immediate friends, yeah, man's, man's kept this morning. Obviously, at the end of the day, when, when you're growing and elevating as a person, you, know, you don't want too much baggage. Not even baggage, just you don't want too many people around you type thing. You know, like, I know, I, I know right now, yeah, everyone around me yeah, is authentic. Like, yo, there's there's nothing that can, you know, that like, break that bond in it in that sense where, you know, like, let's say anything that is needed, like, yo, man's got them. Anything that I need, they know that I, they've got me type thing in it, so. Yeah, I just kept my friends. Friends just small. They're very, very profitable and very small. But obviously, like man, man, open. I meet new guys and I, we, we, you know, whatever. And they like do this, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me, but it's never a thing where, yeah, your man's cold. E. Yeah, no, it's not that slow. All right, so I've met a lot of people. Yeah, and I've met a few people that make a lot of money. Yeah, and they all some have different opinions. Yeah, they say you don't need to work hard to make a lot of money, while others say. You do need to work hard to make mm. a lot of money. No, Which one no. are you? Um, to be honest, no, obviously everyone's right in their own respect, innit? Cause everyone's in this and everyone's plays different. So well, my thing is yeah, you gotta work hard until you can work smart in the sense where now, let's say, I don't know, let's say you have a gardening business now, cool. It's just you, you go out, 
just chop up trees or whatever it is they do in it that cut off like leaves or whatever cool <laughs> they do that now cool let's say they get paid 50 pound an hour to do that now you're working hard you just you bang up bare times now let's say now i don't know you get your little brother get a little cousin little, little sibling now you tell them come go do this i'll give you 20 pound an hour whatever now you're working smart because now they're doing all the hard work for you you're making 30 pound profit out of it so you're getting paid 50 pound you're paying your worker 20 pound you're making 30 pound so you hit me like the thing where you just work hard until you can work smart. When you start working smart, you just scale it up. So let's just say now you've got one staff now, and let's say every day he's doing about, I don't know, like like five houses, right? So five houses is at 50 pounds, whatever. Cool, you're making that. Let's say what, 250, right? So that's with one staff. Let's say you get 10 staff now, you're doing 2.5. Get me? So you understand the concept, yeah, it? So it's, it's, it. instead of you actually cutting, doing the garden, whatever, you've got someone else to do it. So so you cut, you cut in the grass yourself, yeah, you're working hard. You bring someone else to do it, you're working smart. You getting have more employees, you're creating an empire. You get it? So it's very simple like that. And obviously, with that, working hard at the, the empire level will be getting more contracts, getting more staff, getting more facilities, getting more equipment. That's working hard for them at that at that stage, at the end. But at the start, starting stage, you're working hard will be, yeah, no. You gotta go and knock on every door, you gotta put letters, you gotta put flyers to this door, this, that, like you gotta go 10 roads, you get me? So working hard is always a thing, you know, but it's just different levels. Right now, yeah, I work hard by, you know, marking, you know, doing, doing, you know, promo, promo stuff and that, but before working hard would be, yo, sitting at my table 10 hours a day trying to learn, do you get me? So obviously you're always, you're always gonna work hard and just in different respects type of thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to know, mm. what's the hardest time you faced in your life? Hardest time? Um, do, do you know what? Um, I couldn't tell you because I think the mentality thing, right? My mentality is, yo, you got to get it done regardless, bro. So it's, no matter if it's hard or easy, yo, bro, if it's an obstacle, you got to jump that act. Like, in a yeah. sense where, let's say, I was running business and I was in uni as well. Yo, that was tiring and hard as hell, but yo, part of the game I like just gotta run it still so I would I wouldn't say it was hard it was just like a, a new obstacle you just had to climb type of thing in it so yeah like I, I really like to like yo if you gotta get done just do it in it like there's no point being on a bus trying to yeah this that da, 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 I don't know but yeah probably I don't know finishing getting my degree and you know running scale on my business as well in it so yeah pretty pretty much the, the hardest thing I had to do okay okay yeah. so since you said the hardest what's been the most enjoyable part of your life what's been the highlight of your life so far um, family, man, family giving, like all that stuff. They giving like church, like friends, that like, members, dad or whatever. Like family, like like let's say my my parents' birthday or whatever. Like my family anniversary, go pay for stuff. My my niece's birthday come true. Like when it comes Christmas, yo, dress up as Santa, put a bag on your back full of presents, bro. Do you, do you get me? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, that's yeah. that's what makes me happy, bro. That's that's the nicest part, bro. It's not. Let me like I said, the money's all cool, whatever. It is, but it's all you do with it. You see what I'm saying? Like giving out like, that like, um a few days ago, one of my boys, the the, the, the mother passed in it, unfortunately, in it. Rest a male, so rest in peace in it, yeah, bro. The, 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 they did a goal for me, your man just put peace, like yo, bro, hold that G. Do you get me? Obviously, these guys, man's man's been with them since I was, I don't know, like, like 18 or close guys. Every every business venture we've worked together, we've always done it, you get me? And unfortunately, the 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 the, the mother passed of cancer, it? which is sad, isn't it? Like no one, do you get me? Yeah, like no one can go, do you get me, bro? So the thing where Money, like, yo, bro, hold that in it. Put that forward towards your, you know, your your, your funeral, whatever type thing. It's, it's that type of stuff, bro. Do you get me? It's not a thing where, all right, nigga want to show off, whatever. I don't, yo, I don't care about that, bro. Do you get me? If if my peoples are in need or whatever, else, bro, man, give them a helping hand type thing. Do you get me? So, yeah, that's the stuff that really gets man, like, get me, like, giving, you know, making sure people are good in that sense, in it. So, yeah. So, if you could describe, I can tell you got very strong moral values. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. If you could describe, obviously, your family in one word, yeah, and how much it means to you, what yeah. would it be? Yeah, no, one word. Um, family, I guess, isn't it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> that still. Um, but like, like, okay, family. Yeah, not like like a unit, man. That's what yeah. it is, a unit, bro. Like. To get me, because obviously, like we, we, we as in it, we ain't perfect, Brody, man. You know, I might be better at some things that you are. You're not at, and you might be better than I'm not. So it's a thing that you all like. It's just a family unit, bro. That like, get me, like, it's, it's, bro. It's just like a human body, bro. The human body's got so many moving, moving parts, so many functions. G, like, if if one, if one, bro. Let's say now, uh, what your brain don't play its part, bro. The whole, the whole unit is 
dead act. Do you get me? Let's say the heart says, oh, I, I, I want to bake today. I don't want to pump no blood. Like, yo, like, do you get what I'm saying to you? This is literally that role. So the thing where your family is a unit, everyone just plays their part, bro. Do you get me? Everyone does what they can. Get me? Like, for, like, like this is a silly example. Let's say my brother, right, is in my house now. Yo, like, my brother, anything he needs, yeah, whatever, like food, whatever, yo, man, man rides it, man pays, let's say, I don't know, bills, whatever that's needed, I just do it. But he knows that, yo, in the yard, he washes up, he he cleans, like, do you get me? It's, it's, it's like that yeah, type of yeah. stuff, bro. It's the thing where, yo, everyone knows the responsibilities, in it? Like, that's that type of thing, it. So, yeah, man, a nice big family unit, still. That's what a family is, a unit. Yeah, that's lovely to hear. So, how does... How does it go about when girls come around you? Um, and like, what, what sense? As in, have you noticed a lot of girls try to be extra friendly with you nah. just because they see what you post online and see the lifestyle that you have? Nah, do you know what? I, I've always had girls in it. Like, you know, <laughs> like, like <laughs> re- re- realistically, in it, yeah, I, like, I mean, yeah, I me, mean, like, even when I didn't have no peace, man, I always had girls in it. So it was never a thing where, you know, like, right, yeah, yeah, no, big. Obviously, like, the, it, it does increase in it like let's yeah. let know it, it does increase in it but you know it's, it's what in it like, at, at the end of the day like you need to know what you want in it like you know like, so what is it you want huh <laughs> so what is it you want what is it you want what do you mean like, like, with, with like what is it you want in a woman what is it you want oh. do you just want to live your life to have fun what is it you oh, want oh no no bro man's grown man bro man, man don't like do, do you get me like man's energy needs to be preserved in, it, in the sense that your man's not outside like that bro do like, <laughs> you get me like that's not man act like yeah just have a have a have a one girl there just you know just you know just 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 you know live life and then like you know like do you get me live life or they just learn new stuff together, innit? it? Like, you know, it's cool, man. Like, like, like if like having let's say having a girl is like, you know, have like a best friend, bro. You you get me like it's just kinda cool, innit? it? Like, mm. like, like do, do you guys have girls or Yeah, I've got yeah. one myself. Oh, oh, so, yeah. Oh, oh, so, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's cool still. Yeah, but yeah, no, yeah, no, it's cool, innit? Like, yeah, when it's off. Uh yeah. Hey, like <laughs> <laughs> do you get me? <laughs> You get me wink wink at you get me? so but yeah 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 um no girl, girls are cool man you know you just gotta find the right one in it like you know like I, I always said you know it would have been nice you know to you know find a girl if we ever made that first pound because you know at the end of the day that's when you know like you know for a fact of the matter yo it's you not the lifestyle on it like mm-hmm. and that's the issue I, I had in like like in the past yo I never like oh, you've had an issue like that in the yeah past. No, no, not I had an issue like that but just my mind in it like yo like is it me or the lifestyle because I don't you never know in it like you know humans are good actors in it yeah, you know so the thing where you don't know like right yeah what is it because you're little do you actually like like man type thing in it so and obviously like all like most of my guys that's 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 it's just it's, it's, it's just the problem you get when you get to that level, isn't it? Like, it's really that still, so. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's not a bad problem at the end of the day, isn't it? It's, it's a cool problem still. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like that would ever come a rise in case of problem as you keep going and elevating through life? No. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you know, you well know, and then they see what they see. And as you said, it's marketing, it's mm. to get consumers. And to be honest, obviously, girls, you could also say, are also customers, they come and go, come see what's good. Do you feel like that would ever be a rising problem when you come to the point I want to settle down? Oh uh, yeah, no, nah, it's always a factor, bro. Like, like to get me, it's always gonna be a factor, innit? Cause as I said, innit? Like you never know anyone's true intentions when it comes to you, you know, certain stuff like that, man. You get me? Like some people just might want a quick lick, like just quick <laughs> marriage next week. Pat! Just get <laughs> get half of your half of your wealth at keys, like that's what you call a wealth transfer. Do you get me? So it is literally it is a thing. Where, I don't know. You really gotta, you know. You gotta be serious today, innit? Like even that like, on a personal thing, I was speaking to my my, my bishop, innit? Like quite quite a while ago, innit? He was speaking about. He said, "Oh yeah, now you're finished. You need now, you know your thing, your thing." Da da da. Like, well, where, well, where's the missus? Like, what's it saying? I said, hey, "Yo, bishop, you know, like, bro, come on, man. Like, it, I don't know the women. Is it me or the lifestyle? But I'm not too sure." He said, "Ah, bro, you know, like, if you think that's a problem now, just imagine the future when you're getting more and bigger and better." So the thing we're now, he said, "Yeah, now just start start looking now." You know, see what the market is saying. See, see what's good in it. Anything you like, yeah, cool. Come, bless it. Get married, type thing. So, I believe not getting married early is even good, man. It keeps you focused. Act like it keeps you very focused and driven. Because let's say 
you're married now. Well, let's see, you got a girlfriend now, bro. Mm. Just you and your girl, man. You, like, what else do you need to do? Like, obviously, you, you, you know, you might go out once a while on the weekends and that, but bro, more time you save money, bro. You just sit, sit down, you work, you know, you guys, you, you guys cook together some lasagna, some, do you get me? Like, you just, just do nice stuff together. So, yeah, we have, I'm, I'm like, girl, it's cool, man. I'm like, girl, we're cool stuff. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look to the cameras. Your DMs are gonna be flooded after this one. Like. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, nah, nah, I ain't seen before, bro. Do you trust you? <laughs> do you get you? So I want to know. Yeah. Um, did you ever work a normal job? Yeah, bro. So okay. Um, you know, funny, funny enough, actually, do you know, what? I've never had a f- a, a full time contract or part time contract ever. Yeah. Okay. Because um, yeah, I just I, just, I don't. Know. When I was 17, I went to, um, do you guys know where Blue Water is in London? Blue Water? Nah. No, Basically, know. the ball ring. The ball ring, right? Okay. So, but, but yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. That's so, all. Blue Water, right? Yo, there's bare shops, like, yo, there's so many shops in it. I print, I print, I like, what? Like, I don't know, like, 60 CVs that day, right? I just went to go pop it in, like, hey, can I speak to a manager? Da, 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 no, da, da. can I take a CV? Yeah, cool, give him my CV now. I give myself out like yo that day I went I went my bro in that man dressed up in like a shirt like even like a like a tie like some tie mm. some some black trousers some nice little kicks like, I was a little present I even cut my hair that day like I was a presentable cool so <laughs> so man's man's gone there now just gone to the shop just bare shop so I just put yeah cool here you go here you go bro none of them got they got none of them got back to me I don't know why yeah uh-huh. none wow. none ever so like a cool ever there's a thing where now. I needed the money. Not not needed the money, but yo, you like you're 16, 17 now. Uh, you get me? Yo, you're yeah, gonna yeah. need some cash somewhere, innit? So like, yeah, do you know, instead of you know following w- w- what's happening, let me just actually find something else. So I looked for um temp, temp stuff. So agency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So agency. So um the the company I worked with is called Michael Bisher. Do you guys know about them? Nah, I never heard of them. Yeah, no, nah, they're cool. They they the the you know, a staffing agency that does deals with like sports and activities such as um the Royal Ascot, they do football, they've got contract with Tottenham. Tottenham Stadium and all that stuff, Charlton Stadium. So yeah, cool. So I did that in it. Um, uh, more time I went to um Charlton Stadium to work there because I lived in South East and Charlton was like, like an hour away from me. So I went there, done done some shifts and like the pay wasn't great. It was like what done like six pounds five. I, I don't know, just sat in median. It wasn't great in it. I and remember them times. Too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and kinda, yeah, yeah, it wasn't wasn't great. So there was that. Um, yeah, I was I was in the I was doing. Like, like the tills, like you know, on the tills, sometimes mm-hmm. even be out of back, like the hot dogs and that. Do you get me? Just, oh, the kiosk, yeah, 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 the kiosk, yeah, yeah. That's what I was in. I was the kiosk guy, and I was never, you see, when you go football, you see like the, the stewards, yeah. I want yeah. to do that, but I never got that, and I don't know why. But I, I was in the kitchen, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> two birds, one stone, axle is, is a thing where I was actually in the kitchen, and I was in the kitchen, and the kiosk, so yeah, I was just doing, you know, you got the net over your head, like, was just bare mm-hmm. meaty, but I was like, yo, whatever, and then like, did that for a bit. And yeah, there was even there was even some situation, yeah, where I don't know, like, well, I'll come back here, yeah, like, I, like let's say I'll, I'll go to college now, and after that I go to work, then come back and just late evening, and this was like December times, like cold times, yo, like let's say even the was good, the, the 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 trains don't work, bro, I gotta get cab from work back to home, that that cab from work back to home, that's my whole work's oh, pagey, man. like. Did you get me? Like, so it was like, trust me, it was nuts. Like, it's deep. So obviously, you see when guys think, all right, if we just walk up like this, nah, bro, the man went through the trenches. Do you get me? Like, <laughs> man went through the trenches, bro. Like, man done meaty stuff that I didn't even want to do, but I just had to do it. Do you get me type of thing? I, I did that, you know, got a bit of capital and just went forward, didn't it? So after that, I did some dropship and e commerce. I did this in like 2018, 20, 2019. Back then, it was cool, man. It was easier than now, and it? it was very cool. I did that. No, back then we had to use I don't know like pay like a meme page for you to promo your product. Yeah, yeah. You get like what 30, 40 sales that day in it, and that was just like all right, yeah, done in it. Like back then I, I had no. I was asking it like but earlier on, you only know what you've seen done before, right? Mm-hmm. Twenty nineteen or twenty eighteen, I've never seen anyone do crazy numbers on Shopify. So when I saw I don't know like a one k day, I'm like yeah, no nah, fairs, happy days in it. Mm-hmm. But now I got guys that do like what forty back days, fifty back days. Yeah, yep. yeah, bro. Trust me, man. The network is extensive. Still, so yeah, yeah, bro. I've seen guys doing mad numbers on Shopify, bro. So, but yeah. Anyway, it's so cool. I've done that now, yeah. And I, I did that for a few months. I think that's when I made my first ten k in e-commerce through dropshipping. Was it dropshipping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropshipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dropshipping. I was doing like some custom pendants. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Made you first five five figures. You said. Yeah, yeah. It's my first ten grand. Yeah, ten grand. Okay. Yeah, ten grand. Yeah, it was profit. Cool. 
Um, no, no, not even oh, pros. Just, just, just rev in it. But even okay, yeah, the margin was the margin was mad. It was like yeah, what yeah. 70, 80 percent margin. So I, yeah. I, I oh, still yeah, made a, stupid, a cool yeah. seven grand, eight grand. So yeah, it wasn't, yeah. wasn't bad then. But obviously, back then, let's say, oh, you're, you're 18, 19, you got ten grand. Oh my god, that is mad peas, isn't it? Like for for me, anyways, isn't it? Cause I never, mm-hmm. like, I never saw peas like that, and it like oh, obviously the guys on the roll thing, yeah, whatever. Like yo, like, <laughs> don't even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. Do, do you know what? my my thing was? Yeah, I never even involved myself in that because I knew, bro. God will use me as an example, man. If I try to touch any illicit activities, yo, you just see me just bagged like so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you just see just bagged, bro. So those stuff that I never even tried it, so I never even went near that store. So yeah, no. So got my first like ten, like eight grand, seven grand profit from Dutch Japan. Yeah, I just went to trading from that. I said got the courses and I just lost the peas in it. Then it was, you know, whatever. So, so yeah. I- how did you bounce back from that? Because you had to fight the urge of splashing that mm. eight, seven grand or whatever on nonsense, mm. using it on something, trying to make more money, like the courses. Yeah. And then losing most. If yeah, yeah. All yeah that okay, money. cool. So, do you know, is like, you know, like when you, when you never, like I said, I didn't come from money in it. So, I, I wasn't like, like the new kicks and that, I never, I was living in the minute. Like when I was in school, I never had new kicks. Like, obviously, I mean, I had a new kick, but I never had like the latest ones in it. Like, mm. I, I didn't care. I just, yo, I, I, I know my family, yo, they can afford this because that's that. I'm happy that the man's content in it, you know. And the man don't, like, I, I, like whatever the cool guys are, I, I, I didn't care in it, whatever. I'll still cut you the way I cut you, I'll just cool, whatever. So, but you, you see the kicks now? Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. I've seen them. You see the shades. You, you see them now, don't <laughs> it? So, yeah, but, uh, well, that's saying though. So, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Fighting the urge, yeah, no. Nah. So obviously I never had money like that. So I wasn't I wasn't even interested in those type of stuff there. Like it, it didn't like spend, I don't know, at a time, like, I don't know, 300 pounds on shoes. That's 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 crazy, bro. You get me free, free bulls on shoes. I don't know, like, I don't know, back then that's like, I don't know, I don't know, that's that's like electricity, like come on, like you can do you're know saying like as a family unit, you get me, like you're gonna wanna yeah, me contribute in Canada. So was that and even I was I was in uni at the time as well, so it was a thing where nah, right, like. Like, like I've actually got better stuff to do. I, I wanted to learn how to drive, so I started my driving lessons. I, I did a um, what's that? What's that thing called? See, we can do bare lessons at once. Crash course. Yeah, bro, man, I put a couple. I found like two like, k or something like that. So I done a crash course for of like what three three weeks or four weeks or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Done that. I bought my car. So obviously that that money um you know went some some went there as well. So it, it was it was, a, was yeah. So so but obviously it wasn't wasn't a spend. It was an investment because I learned how to drive and I bought yeah, a car. Yeah. Do you get me? It's always that. Your yeah, commuting back to London was easy. Like, do you get me? That like, it was only now where I see guys used to take trains or whatever. But when I was uni, I never took trains. I always took like the coaches. Like, coaches. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. That was it. National. I don't. I thought it was called in, but I was. Yeah, I used to take that in it. But obviously now guys say, oh, they used to take train in it. That's it. I, like, I, I didn't even know. Like, oh, so. I, like, I was just like, yeah, no, cool. Like, whatever is the easiest way and the most cost efficient way to get back home, I'll do it. Like, I don't care. I just yeah. sit on a coach. Like. I don't know, like, what, I don't know, like, even three hours, like, just long, innit? After that coach I was sitting on, right, it was from Nottingham to London, um, what's, what's that? If it was either London, Houston, or, Houston. Or, or, or London, Victoria, one of them, innit? But, oh, okay. oh, but yeah. my house is like an hour from there as well. So from uni, from, from leaving my house in uni, touching my house in London, I was in like, what, four or five hours? Yeah, Do you get me? So it was, yeah, it was crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. Do you get me, bro? It's crazy, man. I was saying it like I was okay with that because I was like, yeah, no, I know I need to build and you know do something good with what I need to do in it. So, I mean, like, my thing is you got to enjoy, you got you got to enjoy the journey, man. You got to enjoy everything. You can't just arrive. You get me? You got you got to enjoy the journey, like. You get me, like, like you don't just teleport, yeah, from here to there, and then you gotta, you know, enjoy it. Like, cool, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. So, yeah, now the journey, the journey. Obviously, looking back at it, like, my, my, my loves it, yeah, because. Is, is 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 what is what makes me who who I am today type thing. So yeah, my my, my really, you know, I really enjoyed it. So, so you mentioned your first car. Yeah. What was your first car? Oh, my first car. Yeah, it was, it was a cool little Corsa, black Corsa. Nice. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it turning on? Oh no no no! It was calm. It was calm. It was calm. It was calm. Yeah. Well, well, that, that that Corsa was calm. Um, was it? Yeah. No, I can't, like when I bought it, I was kind of scared though. Like bear man, I I just passed right. I think like what three days later, I thought I went to go buy a car in it. Cool. Obviously, I, I I studied the manual in it, right? So, obviously, I, the crash course in it. So I don't know, my brain wasn't. Even, I just I just I just managed to just pass it, right? I passed it, bought the car now, yeah. So I just bought the car now, and the guy he just said, yeah, here's the keys, cool, just go, just, just whatever, so cool. I just drove now, yeah. And I got to one hill, like it was on the back road. I got to one hill, oh. yeah. yeah, 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 bro. I got to one hill, yeah. I forgot about the clutch in it, yeah, bro. I just, just tap, pew, the car just stalled, like I have to call the guy, said, bro, like I think the car is broken. <laughs> 
I'm like, bro, I bet I bet the car's broken, bro. He said, no, what are you doing? Like, he said, just put your foot on the clutch. I was like, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, so, yeah, no, my experience, yeah, yeah, it was, it's kind, of, kind of funny. So I said, like, you see how <laughs> it's all part of the journey, man. You just yeah. got to love it, man. <laughs> you you, you got to love it. So I had that car. I had a course. It was a black little course, like MF10 FVU. That's the first plate, MF10 FVU. Had that um, course, uh, had it for about, I don't know, like, like eight months, nine months. But obviously, mm-hmm. during that time, yeah, I, was, I was working in it hard on FX, like, very hard. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I switched my car after that. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. And what car do you drive now? Um, I, I got I got E220 Premium Plus Mercedes. It's cool. E Coupe. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Look, yeah, yeah, no, no. It, it is nice. In about, you know. What car next? You got to see your store. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to, yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. Very, very soon. And uh, you guys will see it. Yeah. So I've seen your Instagram profile and yeah. you mentioned on one of your videos mm. about financing cars. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us your opinion on that again? Please? Finance is great, man. I love finance. Is your car on finance right now? 100%. 100%. I love finance. It's cash flow, man. You get me? Because I didn't do it. Let's say that this now. Let's say that car, when I bought it, it was about 30, 30, 32 grand, 32,000. Cool. Mm-hmm. On, on the fact, cool, right? Let's say now, let's say argument saying now, you've got 100 bags, right? You got 100 bags now, and you take out 30 bags to buy a car. That's insanity. A car's a depreciation asset. It's a liability, bro. Because when you, bro, the moment you buy that car from the dealership, even if you drove it or not, if you try to sell it back to you, they're going to give you like, two, like 28 grand. You're going to lose peas on it. Nice. There and then, right? So, cool. So, that's that's the buying option, right? And there was a finance option, right? The finance option, I put, I think, like three grand. I put 3K deposit. And you pay four fifty monthly. So let's say at hundred grand now, you take three grand or three grand now. So now you got ninety seven thousand, and you pay four hundred monthly. What makes more sense to you logically in terms of cash flow? It's clearly the second option where you put the three grand down. Do you get me? And yeah. plus, plus, plus. Guys think finances. You just got. You just got. Uh, I don't know. Make four hundred pounds a month. You are insane. For you to have. For you to be able to finance a thirty thousand car, thirty thousand pound car, you need to be earning about fifty to sixty grand on pay y e. Pay y e is like your salary, like yeah. like payroll, like you need to pay tax on it, bro. You get me? It's not oh yeah, you just someone sent you three bags a month. No, my bro, you got to go through open banking. Do you know what open banking is? Explain it. Open banking is essentially let's say you want to get credit or you want to get want to get a house, property, or whatever it is that. Open banking is a system where where it allows the lender to see. Your credit history or, or, or like see your, your payment history on your card so you give them access to it you get your, your sort code whatever you give them access to it they can see your pay slips for the last six months whatever so at least that way you're eligible because in this country they, they, they don't give to you just because you got 400 pounds in your account they give to you on your affordability rate if you're making let's say you make i don't know five grand a month for it and your finance is 400 pounds you can afford it comfortably mm-hmm. you see it right yeah. so in order for you to be able to finance a car, you need to have money. So you see when guys have the um the misconception, oh, if you finance a car, you're broke. That's insane. Oh, you see that a lot in cars. That's, that's yeah, just, yeah, bro, yeah. like, obviously, bro, I'm confident in myself, innit? You, you've been told me I'm broke. I was like, okay, <laughs> what now? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm, com- yo, I'm confident in myself that, man, that's not me, it. So the thing where, that com- like, oh, that's in everything works different for everyone, innit? Like, that just works for me because, let's say, monthly cash flow is greater than um 400. I'm going to win. That's it. Happy days, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? So, but yeah, no, nah, the, the the financing was great, innit? I'll, I'll heavily advise if you want to get a car or whatever, just finance it, man. It's great. Because at the end of the day, if you don't want a car, you can give it back. And when you give it back, you just lose equity on it. So let's say now, funny enough, my, my A class where I financed it, excuse me, my A class that I financed, when I sold it back, I made profit on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause that, that was probably like last year? Of course. Yeah. COVID. Yeah. So yeah, this yeah. also, when I, saw, when I saw my A class, right, this was when. The parts of something, something in Taiwan, the 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 just something was it wasn't being produced no more. So yeah. obviously all cars were going up. So when I bought, I think when I bought my A class, it was like 20, 23,000. 23, when I first bought it, I bought it when I was when I was like 19, 23,000 I bought it. And when I sold it the year after, it sold for 25 after I've used it. That is mad. That's crazy. Do you get me? So I've used a Mercedes. It was a brand new plate, by the way. I've used zero miles. When I bought it, I was the first driver on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fresh, fresh plate. So I bought that car, right? I used it for a year. I sold it and I got money on top of it. 
That is just that's a <laughs> mad concept. To, that's do you get what I'm saying? So, do, you, do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff. Like you see, this so you gotta be very smart with it, man. But I'll say yeah, definitely finance all the way, man. Finance is good for let's say cash flow, man. As a, as a, if you if you got a car, right? You, you I say the minimum outgoings, yeah, your car has to be maximum ten percent of your outgoings, maximum. So let's say I don't your car finance is four grand. You need to make at minimum. F- I mean, if your, your car finance is four hundred pounds, at minimum you need to make four grand minimum. Obviously, obviously, you can make less than whatever is comfortable for you, you know, whatever, you know, but a rule of, rule of thumb for me and my friends is your 10% at the most. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so I'm not sure if you're going to answer this. Yeah. How much percent of your car finance is out of your monthly cash flow? Um, let's, let's put it like this. If the payment came out, yeah, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I wouldn't see it. So, by God's grace, though, anyways, isn't it? So, yeah. I, 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 I just wouldn't see it. That, that, that's what I was saying, So, if someone like that, yeah, is financing a car for 400 pounds and he's broke, that's crazy. <laughs> that, that's crazy, bro, isn't it? Like, if, if that means I'm broke, hey, I guess I'm broke, then like, that's, that's, that's what it is, isn't it? So, get me, like, at the end of the day, it's what works for somebody, isn't it? Like, like these shades on my face, right? These cost four bills. That's mad. This is my car finance payment, I guess. That's that. And I said he's put his car finance on the table. Do you get me? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to make of that in it, but yeah, that's that's that still. Yeah, basically, you're not broke. That, that's that's it. That's it. Still, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, come on, like the, the bro, like it, you know, it's whatever. What works for me? Like, I'm not a guy type of guy, so I don't. I'm not gonna impose nothing on no one in it. I'll just tell you what I do. What works for me in it? That's that in it. What works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me in it. That's always all about traveling around there. Day, so yeah. So let's say all of this was to go tomorrow. Yeah. How would you start building again? Call up to my friends. Hey, bro, I need a cra- one one k. I got ten grand. Put up in an algo. Make I don't know five percent a month. That's five bills. Let's say for a year now. Just, just get the money, just reinvest it, or even, but even that's that's one aspect of it. So get friends with her, right? But second aspect, bro, my personal branding, bro. Yeah, there are certain services, yeah. Like I don't have to even show proof of concept because man's attached to it, it sells. Okay. Yeah. To get me, like, like let's say, Give me an example. Okay, let's say, um, we've been, let's say, um, when I first started my algorithm, like 20, 2021, right? Obviously, we had. Back testing data, but back testing data is, is not live data, so it doesn't matter. Like, is what happened in FX, right? What happens, like, past results doesn't determine future um, performance. That's the fact of matter. So, obviously, you have four years back data, or whatever, that's fine, in it, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen in the future. So, yeah. with that now, I told guys, yo, guys, look, I'm testing out a new service. Come join if you like it. Stay if you don't. Cool. We ran it for a year. We had about 470 clients join wow. with no data. Because APM said, come join. Because APM said. To get me, bro. So that's it. It's all about the, you know, the personal brand. Bro, and you have, to, you have to value, bro. Your name is one thing, bro. You can't even tarnish you. Like, if you tarnish your name, you're just dead, fam. Because, like, bro, that your your name is like is a credit score. Do you get me? Obviously, before I came on the podcast, obviously, you asked around your guys, well, what did your guys say who APM is? They were like, just know he makes a lot of money. Trader, Forest Camp. So he runs his own algorithm. They also mentioned funded accounts. I don't know yeah. if that comes into algorithm or if that's separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. We'll, we'll go into that later on. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. In yeah. Again, we saw who he was with a few years about, so straight away. Yeah. You, you see, so so who who you are, you know, is like your name is is, is a credit score. Like, like you, who you are is like your social media, especially, is, is that, is that, what was it called? It's like your CV. Mm-hmm. You get me? It shows. Obviously, if you look at my Instagram, you see I do this, I do that, I do this, and so it's. It's really that, and like you can't tarnish your stuff, you can't tarnish your image for I don't know whatever in it. That's that's why right now I can sell services. And yeah, if it if it works for clients, then they they're gonna carry carry on in it. And I think what is that makes makes my service like very attainable and very you know enticing is because if something goes wrong with the, with the system, if if let's say let's say for example you paid for something and it didn't work, I reimburse your membership. I don't, I don't I'm not here for your money, as I said to you in it. That's the that's the beauty of it. You see, when you have your own money, like apart from your service you run, yeah, yo, nothing, nothing matters in a sense. So if you're not satisfied because of a hundred pounds, I'm not gonna let you rub, rub my name up for hundred pounds. I'll give it back to you. I don't care. I don't need your hundred pounds. You understand? Yeah. yeah. 
that's that's that. Innit? I, I don't, I don't. Like, like, I can't, like, you can't please everyone in there at the end of the day. Let's say someone join your service and they, they lose some money or whatever. That's fine. I'll give you back whatever you paid in it. That's, that's it. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not going to let you try to run my name through the mud for a hundred pounds. What can you get for that? That don't fill up my tank, bro. To get me that is so you're, you're willing to risk hundred pound because and your name get through nah, that all right is dead store. I, I don't I don't do it that store. So yeah, that's that's with my clients. Let's say my clients we give them free trials as well. So that's why I don't I don't even I, there's no commitment when you start with me. Like you come in eight weeks, you got a free trial there with the service. If you like it, run with it. If you don't, you got no commitment. You ain't lost nothing. That's very you. long as I eight weeks to get involved. That, actually make some money as well. Do you get what I'm saying, bro? Let's say you're making, I don't know, 50 pound a week. Bro, 50 pound times eight, you're making all right money. Do you get me? You're making like four pillars. You're okay. Mm. You get me? And that's with free service. Do you get me? So do you understand why my service is very easy for clients to just jump on it? Because it makes sense. If if you don't, you don't lose nothing. If it don't work, at least cool. Um, they didn't work. On to the next. That's it. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. So tell us more about the funded accounts. Oh. Forex funded. Funded accounts, so funded accounts. Um, but are you guys familiar with prop firms? I've heard of them. What's that? Prop firm, okay. Prop firms is um proprietary trading firm. So it's basically um, I, I'm trying to explain the easiest way as possible, right? You get if you if you're a competent trader, right? Mm -hmm. They'll give you okay. There's there's some there's accounts where from five k to five hundred k, right? Mm -hmm. You buy whatever account you want to buy, and a certain because you have to buy it, right? You buy the accounts, right? If you can pass the challenge and show that you're a competent trader, they will give you that equity amount. Let's say if you bought 500k account, right? You will get that money. You will get that account to trade on. Now, whatever money, whatever profit you make, you keep it. You keep 80% of that money. So that's what it is. A prop firm just allows you to leverage your money. That's yeah. really what it is, isn't it? So let's say you're a consi your consistent trader. You're doing, I don't know, 10% monthly, right? You've been doing it and you've passed the challenge, right? Instead of you... Okay, cool. Let's say you've got 1K to your name, right? Or let's say 3K, whatever, right? You making 10% of 3,000 is 300 pounds, right? But you making 10% of 500K is 50 grand. One thing I'll tell you guys, you got to remember, right? A big percentage of a small number is still a small number. But a small percentage of a big number is a massive number. For example, 10 k let's say 1K now, you've got 10%. 10% of 1K, and that's not what. Well. Um, 100. 100, 100 pound, cool, right. 1% on 500,000, what's that? 500? Yeah. Manchester, <laughs> Do you get me? So, me. so, so that's, that's that. So you're making 1% on a 500k account, you've made five bags. But you trying to go all the way and making 10% on the 100k, on a, on a 1k account, you're making only 100 pounds. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I get you. So the funded accounts here actually gives clients leverage to actually Make make more money. It sounds more enticing as well. Do you get me? Oh, you percentages get, as low as well. There you go. And the 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 um the split between that is 80, 80 20. So let's say now a client makes um ten k in profits at the end of the month, right? The client makes the client takes eight thousand and the firm takes two thousand. So that's how it's, it's fairly simple and it's it's, it's it's not hard at all. So with that now we've got our algo. Our algo can actually be attached to those accounts. So let's. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, so that, is that our use? Printing, 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 printing. It's a money, money glitch, bro. Money glitch. That's it. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a money glitch. <laughs> it's a money glitch, bro. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Get me. You see, with these stuff as well, yeah, it's very, very. You know, you, you gotta, you know, take advantage of it quickly because in a sense where nothing lasts forever, good or bad. You get me. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, come in. Do you get me? Nothing lasts forever. And, and you see, certain prop firms, right? They've actually stopped doing this stuff because that's what happens. People just print money consistently. So I remember when they're printing the money, right? The person that needs to pay it out is a prop firm. So the prop firm losing money paying you back. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the way. Yeah, no, no. There's, there's a money glitch, man. Most of my clients are on that. So these guys have got 200 k accounts, use my algo, they make about seven percent a month. Yeah, they're making good money. They withdraw it, happy days. Yeah. That is nice. Easy money. <laughs> money glitch so, passive so, income. So, you get me? So so you see what I was telling you guys about, you know, in business, you always gotta be like evolving and that that's all part of it as well. Before I was only running, I don't know, like hundred dollar accounts, two hundred dollar accounts. So as I said, back to what I said, isn't it? a big percentage of a small number, so small number, but a small percentage of a big number is a big number. Mm -hmm. See? How did you get, how did you scale it then to get these bigger accounts? No, nah, so it's a prop firm. So these prop firms, okay, so the prop firms, I don't I don't own them. I, yeah. Like they're nothing to do with me. I just I just provide a service for the clients. Service for them, yeah. Do you get me? So let's say a client now has a first class forex. So first okay, it's cool. First class forex fund is, is a prop firm. 
Apart from that, offers up to 500k in funding. Big what accounts. do you get me? And they use your service. There you go. Smart. Oh, so you get a percentage of it. There you go. Yeah, that's mad. You see, I can't even imagine how <laughs> much go. money you print monthly, man. By God's grace, man. So, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Hey, man. Four bills yeah. on the shades. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, nah, there's, there's, yeah, no, nah, there's, there's a lot, man. There's a lot that goes on. So, obviously, I'm saying, let's say you got, I don't know, five clients or 10 clients on, on, on the management stuff, right? I don't know. It's crazy, man. Let's say each client is doing, I don't know, like eight grand, nine grand a month. Mm, yeah, you're, you're all right in it, bro. You're all right, so you know, but yeah, it's, it's all about you know finding new stuff in the market. Then, because I didn't there, this this stuff here, like, I, I didn't like it, just it just dropped in my lap in it, like, raw, like, bro. You see, these ideas come to me when I'm having a shower, bro. And I'm just scrubbing my brain, yeah, bro. <laughs> pop, some idea comes in, <laughs> <laughs> maybe the idea comes now, yeah, yeah, nah, bro. It's a brainwave, innit? You got a service, you, you, you've got you've got a system there that makes money for standard clients. So why not just see what it does on a funded client? The exact same result. The exact same result nice. on a bigger scale. Mm. Yeah. Do you see? So and obviously with this now, the service is making money, bro. You need to remember, bro, on 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 a on a on a, on a, a service based business, right? The client needs to always win. Always. Always. Always, ever, ever. Every, they always need to win in a sense, where if client Loses money, you've lost them. But if client makes enough for them not to lose, you've kept them. In the yeah. sense where, let's say now, I don't know, a client got a thousand pounds account, right? You can carry on making that client, I don't know, hundred pound a week, hundred pound a week. But that that amount, that that week that you lose the money, <laughs> you lost them. Do you get me? So that's how you got the services. Just got to be very, very, you know, like because my my algos can make way more. But it's all about the risk. Oh, with yeah. me, I you do very low risk. Very low, bro. Mm. But I, I, I prioritize pres preservation of accounts rather than profits, bro. I don't care. That's yeah. it, didn't it? Yeah, no one's gonna rub my name out because what the lost peas, that's dead. That's dead, bro. You know, I'd rather you make 5%, yeah, be content with that rather than you try and make that 30% a month and you blow your account. Done. There's no point. There's no point. All my algos right now, the, the max drawdown is about 3.5%. So drawdown means floating profit or loss. So floating loss. So let's say, I don't know. You got um a hundred a hundred pounds in the account now. It goes minus three pounds. That's 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 three percent floating loss. So it's, it's whatever. Yeah. And remember, floating loss doesn't mean floating loss. Just means is that's that's just what's being traded. But when it's closed, it closes on profit. You get so yeah. It, it, it's cool, man. The system is cool, man. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So. All right. So for the younger people that are watching. Yeah. Obviously, we're young ourselves, obviously. Yeah. Well, how, how are you guys? 22. Okay. Okay. That's how old are you? I'm 20, 22. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, for the younger people that are watching and yeah. they want to come up, make money, yeah. probably don't care how, just make money legit. How would you suggest they do that? Um. First of all, get a mentor, man. A mentor will be great for you because, yo, a mentor, a mentor is somebody that's been there, done that. In reality, yeah. let's say... The perfect analogy I give for mentors, let's say, I don't know, you go Marrakesh, right, Morocco, and you want to go to the desert. Are you going to go somewhere that just, you met there the same time you got off the plane or someone that's been there for like 30 years? Been there for 30 years. Do you get me? Bro, if you try to go somewhere that went there, bro, you guys are both dead, like, you, <laughs> you, just, get, you just get lost lost in the, the desert, bro, like. It's, the <laughs> you, you, get, bro, you, you get me, bro, like, like if you, you see, bro, it makes sense. Someone has been there, done that. Where you want to go, they've already been there. So they can tell you, all oh, right, no, nah, bro, don't do this, don't do that, because you can make this error. You get me, bro? I, I, the mentor I had, right, I had I had a marketing mentor when they showed me about lifestyle marketing and landing, but not the FX stuff. So the FX stuff, bro, man's made so many mistakes here, whereas now, yo, nothing can trick me in the market. Yo, I understand the market. Hence why, with the with the returns I get, bro, I'll, get, I'll happily take 5% a month. I'm okay with that. Because, bro, when you try to get greedy in the market, the market wipes you out and it shows you who's boss. And that's the reality of it, bro. You get me? And back yeah. to what I was saying, you rather make a client 5% rather than blowing them out. So I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm um, okay, cool. So yeah, start with mental, man. Start with mental. See someone that you actually like, innit? Like, see someone you like. Obviously, not like that, innit? but just like what, what they're doing, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, see, see, see what, what, they, what they're doing, like, in a sense where, yeah, cool, they do this, they do that. 
that that the life they live is genuinely a good life and like not not for social because uh, bro outside of socials my man lives a good life bro my man's family whatever bro man flies and travels about posting on socials bro mm. get me like my man just like bro, a few months ago like bro even if i told you man just came from i just came i just came from mobs today bro i landed a month from mobs today bro i didn't post it yet bro i don't i don't, I don't care how was that no, it was great so bro. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, we had a few boats, had a few jets. Yeah, bro, it was nice, man. It was nice. What's it? My, my life outside, well, my phone, yeah, my business phone, I didn't even turn it on yet, bro. Get me that. I see when you chat me, it's actually cool, bro. I didn't, I was, I was, I was just cool on this, like, I didn't, like, my phone on me, bro. Like, yeah, bro, if I, when I turn my phone on, bro, the messages, bro, 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 it's the, and even I said, then, this weekend, yeah, I took time to lock off in it, yeah, but bro, I couldn't even lock off because something happened in the in one of the funded funded spaces. Um, the one of the the prop firms was changing the rules, so a lot of clients were wanting to get past there and then. Oh, oh okay. to get started. You get, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And foremost, so foremost setting in, and when foremost comes in, yo, you got to be active in it. Even as when I traveled, I I, I didn't I didn't want to work, so I left my laptop, I left everything in it. So it was a thing where, yeah, I couldn't really fully um you know work out but today today is the last time when after this podcast i'm just gonna go the last few hours of the day i'm just gonna mash work in it and that's that's the reality of it people think uh oh, this life that man lives oh yeah is is this that outside everything now nah, bro it's, it's bro it's hard work bro get me as i said then, my hard work is just replying back to clients getting more market and stuff up that's my hard work so yeah man but yeah cool um yeah man find something you some find something like you, you you know that's cool that that does what you want to do in it you know, whatever marketing, networking, lifestyle, FX, um, e-commerce, whatever it is, and find someone that has been there, done that type of thing, innit? Like, you know, and yeah, just just see how you can be of help in it. You know, because at the end of the day, when you find yourself helping somebody do something, you're learning from them indirectly. You're learning all the tricks of the trade. Like as it is, everything that I know from marketing, I've just learned from a mentor. But him he, him giving me tasks to do, yeah. I've done it, him like me sitting in his meeting rooms and that you go, man's man seeing stuff, bro. You get me so where now when I can bro, I can sell sand to an Arab, bro. Do you get me? I can sell you sand. That's how good my mental was, bro. I mean, that's what man's learned. Hence where like even in my sales, it's just yo, just off the tongue, bro. I'm not even have to, like I don't have to sell to you, I don't have to even speak to you to sell to you, bro. It sells itself. You see, obviously, man's learned all these tricks, my mentals and that stuff there. So you see, the benefit of my mental is great because it shows you like raw, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I mean, um, what would be good to get into? Um, e-com is good, man. E-com, um, Amazon FBA, you know, all that stuff there. F- FX is coming, but as as an FX, yeah, if it is one wrong movie, yeah, bro, you are rubbed out, man. So that's <laughs> that's 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 the thing. So, so yeah. what personal skills would you say they need? S- say that again, sorry. What kind of personal skills would you say someone needs to come up? You just to gotta make be, money. We just gotta be confident, bro. Like, be confident, like, whatever you want, just go go get it, like, do you get me? Just got to be audacious in yourself, like, yo, <laughs> if you feel you can get something, yo, get that, get that, my bro, like, I mean, if you feel like, you know, you want to work with this person, work with this brand, go do that, you know, like, in this day and age, I, I say, um, social media's currency, bro, do you get me, mm. social, do you get me, social media's currency, when people see what you're doing, and, you know, it's currency, and it speaks for itself, it speaks volumes, and then they, so, yeah. Like, I feel like I'm not asking you guys questions, isn't it? My bad, though, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. <laughs> so, I, got one, I got one more question. So, you yeah, talk about sure. mentorism. Yeah. How is it you act as a role model to your brother? And what is it, the things you teach him? Uh, my brother, um, yeah, no, I, you know, my brother, yeah, man's cool with him, and my little dog, innit? But man, man, don't, man don't spoil him, bro. Do you get me? Cause mm-hmm. If you spoil someone, don't never know the value of anything, ever. You get me? Like, when he wants sentence like kicks and that, yo, it's not about the money, I don't care. Like, I, I can buy it for you, but I just don't, because. If I buy it for you, like, what does it mean? Like, what, what have you learned? Like, what skills have you used to get? Like, what, what have you done? Like, you know I mean? and the the reason for him wanting that is all vanity because his boy's got it. Like, to get me, like, yeah. that's that's all it is. So, the thing where, bro, I teach him skills like, yo, bro, like, I didn't do it. Like, if you want something, go get it in the sense where you gotta work hard, bro. Like, you, you don't, you don't, you know, you ain't got the back door. No one just gotta work hard. You know, work hard, whatever it is that's needed, you go for it. Like, if it's, I don't know, like, I told him, like, get a job, whatever, like, he, like, like, but he, go, he actually got one. He got a job, obviously, I think, because of his school time, so we clashed in it, so he couldn't do it for too long, and so he got a job, so, you know what I mean, like, and he listens to the thing where, just, you know, like, yeah, I wouldn't spoil no one, bro, because it takes it takes away the, the, the value in the sense of the journey. So, see, I was saying about, you know, um, 
like it's, it's, it's not about it's not about how you how you it's not about you just arrive it's about how you get there so obviously putting all the hours into work and all that stuff there that's all part of the you know the journey to get where you need to get to so yeah that's what i try to teach him obviously like you, like the game i always teach the game in it but it's the thing where to get to to start up and he needs to start up himself right now type thing into you so yeah you always gotta you know it's you that's got a bro i could take you to, i could take you to the water but i can't force you to drink do you mm. get what I'm saying, yeah, bro? Yeah, yeah. I can take you to that river, but I can't force you to drink. If you don't drink, then you're, you're gonna you're gonna die at the end, then as well. Yeah. All right. Final question. Though. Yeah. Great, little great analogy. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> what is your life purpose? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> 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 uh, my, my life purpose. Um, nah, just just to inspire and give hope, man. You get me? Like my my goal, and I started all this out here when I was 17, right? I was 16, is to be that person that you wish I was there for you when I was younger. That's it, plain, blank, and simple. Back to what I was saying, that like, I, I went through certain stuff here because I only did what I saw. I only did what I saw, I only did what I knew. Okay, because you, bro, I can't tell you guys go do something you've never seen before. It's a, how? I can't tell you guys, well, if I told you to, I don't know, go go draw me um, an animal you've never seen before, how are you going to do that? True. Do you get me? So the same way now, no one in the hood knew nothing about entrepreneurship. They've never, they've, no, one, no one's done it before. Um, before I was, yo, I've never seen anyone get lit legitly from the ages of 16, like from when, from when I was a child up until 17, 18, I've never seen anyone get lit legitly. Get me like, when you see guys working legitly, bro, you just see them waking up 6 a.m. some heavy racksack on their back, like just running to the station, running for a bus, like, it's like, that's like, do you get me? But obviously when you see like, like the hood guys, yeah, you see them what, you know, bust down watches, see them in the mercs, the ranges, yeah, I want to be like that act. Mm. Do you get me, bro? That's what it is like, and they saw that, and that's what they saw. That's what that's what they did. They did what they saw. They saw the guys, yeah, banging this, doing that. That's how they wanted to do that. But no one could tell them, yo, focus on being an entrepreneur. Do you entrepreneurs? They've never seen on be lit of entrepreneurship. Get me, get a job, bro. Get a job and what? Go to this train station at four a.m., five a.m. for what? <laughs> you get, they're not gonna do it. Kim, they're not gonna do it because they've never seen that positive light or that positive role model for for whatever they want to do. Entrepreneurship, yeah, but I said now, yeah, it's changed. A lot of guys are doing it. A lot of guys are really showing guys that, right, yeah, you can get lit legitly. And I said that was my main goal be the person that, that you wish I was definitely was younger. Because I believe, yeah, if I, if I saw someone like myself, yeah, when I was, I don't know, 15, 16, I would have been way gone than where I am today. Do you get me? It's just that, you know, I had to, you know, make the, 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 you know, the blueprint myself. I made a blueprint myself and now I've given a blueprint out to everything. So at least hopefully this here helps someone, you know, get to anything to get to in the future. So, yeah, that's. That's really that story. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. last question was also from our previous guest. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so at, at, at the end of our show, oh, yeah. our guest leaves a question for the next one. Okay. So off camera, you leave yours. Okay, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll do that story. Thank you, APM, Yeah, for coming and, on. anytime, yeah, girl, man. I appreciate you, guys. Definitely learned a lot about that. Yeah. yeah. And Come on, bro, yeah, man. Come on. Cheat code, for real. Yeah, not reals, man. <laughs> Money printing machine. Reals, 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 reals.